Hey guys, welcome back to Art Club with Miss Burford and welcome if you're new here. This week we're going to create a candle holder for World Book Day which tells some kind of story. You will need a glass candle holder which I will link in the description box below, a battery tea light, these acrylic pens which again I will link in the box below and a pen or a pencil along with a scrap piece of paper. To start with, on your scrap piece of paper, we can start planning our story that we're going to tell. So you want four boxes for each side of your candle holder. If you wish to, teachers, you can um, draw this out ready and just print this off. So you could draw four boxes on the computer and just print that off. Or you could just get them to do it on a scrap piece of paper like I am here and get them to think of four parts of their story, which makes it really easy to recognise. For me, one of my favourite books is the Harry Potter series, so I wanted to go specifically with one of the books, Prisoner of Azkaban, and make this recognisable by doing Harry Potter, of course, The Night Bus to make it relatable to the third film, Hogwarts, and a cute character of Hedwig. They just need to be rough sketches at this point, nothing perfect, we'll move on to perfection in just a moment. So now you can use your acrylic pens and lay your candle holder flat so you have one of the sides facing up towards you to make it easy for it to draw, for you to draw on it, sorry. And you can just go straight in with your acrylic pen and draw your pictures. So I started with Harry Potter, I drew his face with the peach colour, went in with the brown for his hair and then I added some details of his outfit to make him instantly recognisable. Not forgetting features like his glasses and his red and yellow Gryffindor scarf. So when you're thinking of your, your four pictures that you might use, you might want to use a main character. So another example is something like Matilda. So you could do Matilda on one side. Then you might want to do the enemy. So that would be um, Miss Trenchable. And then choose two other pictures, which makes it obvious that you're doing Matilda as you're seen. So you might want to do the ribbon getting stuck in the tree or um, the cake that's in the film or even just a chalkboard or something like that which relates to her loving being at school. Now going back to mine, my next picture was of the night bus. I tried to do it at an angle so that you could see that it was 3D. If you have a little look, I sketched with the black pen my outline but I actually end up making a mistake so you can just rub this out with your finger a bit quick or if it starts to dry a little bit, you can get a wet paper towel and just wipe this off and start again. And then obviously later on it will dry properly, but whilst it's still fairly wet, you can rub this off quite easily. So it's up to you if you would like the children to just draw straight onto the glass, which I would highly recommend so they build a confidence of just sketching and then colouring it in with the pens. Or you can, do a, you can get them to draw on a piece of paper which is cut to the size of um, each side of the glass and they can trace their picture and then colour it in. It's up to you, depends on what age group you're working with I guess, but for the older children I would definitely get them to do this and I've done this with 7 to 11 year olds and they were happy to draw straight on the glass without tracing. You don't have to use the black acrylic pen to outline the pictures, however I do find that it defines them more can add more details and it just finishes it off and gives it that finishing touch so it's up to you if you want to use the black to outline but I would highly recommend it. You will notice that as I have done the first two sides of my jar or my candle holder whatever you'd like to call it you can use jars if you'd like to by the way if they have edges to them rather than being round so you can recycle and reuse um, these are just uniform size and quite easy to work with and I know that these take about an hour and a half to work on from experience. I went slightly off topic there. As you'll notice I've done my first two sides, I, I'm working on my second side and as I'm going to turn it around again I'm going to have to hold my jar up at an angle so that I don't smudge my first two faces of the glass um, because with them lay on the piece of paper underneath they will smudge as they're not fully dry yet. It takes around about two hours for the paint pens to dry. So the first two faces I would suggest drawing your harder pictures on and then the 
last two faces where you're going to have to hold your jar up um, you can draw the easier pictures if you like of your story and then I started on lovely Hedwig. Hedwig's one of my favourite animals in the film so I could have used some other pictures instead like a Hogwarts letter, I could have done a broomstick, or I could have done Draco Malfoy or even Fang um, or, or the enemy being Voldemort however I went with Harry, Hedwig, the night bus which was a definite for Prisoner of Azkaban and the picture of Hogwarts where I've got the moonlight and then you'll notice that I added a little detail of having a Dementor because of course this is part of um, the third film again where we first meet the Dementors. This is a great project like I say for World Book Day and I did find out that World Book Day in the UK has a different date to the rest of the world. So in the UK it's usually on the first week in March um, and it does change the date slightly each year and then the rest of the world it's towards the end of April um, apparently this is, to, this is to do with clashing with UK Easter holidays in schools I'm not exactly sure I didn't know this till I looked it up today but I'm doing this video now so that any UK teachers that need help with World Book Day suggestions here's a suggestion for you now the rest of the world this is for you in a few weeks Anyway, just keep going around the jar until you have your picture on each one and if you need to touch up anything then you can do. I had to touch up some of Harry's robe at the end because some of the paint on the base came off from where I was rotating the jar as I was working on it. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons like this every week and more art related content every now and then. See you next week for more art club with Miss Burford.